So we get to finally talk about another gaming console this time around, and this actual console is one of the first gaming consoles that I actually ever owned. Now I did use a Game Boy Advance before this, but the Nintendo DS Lite I was gifted at a young age, and this console really changed my life in so many different ways. I was addicted to this console like crazy, and I would literally look forward to playing this console every single moment of my life. Anytime I was doing something that, you know, when I wasn't playing this gaming console, I was literally thinking about this this console day in and day out and you know that's what happens when you're like a 10 year old or 12 year old with no life or no friends now with the nintendo ds Lite, this specific console came out in 2006 so it's turning however many years old now which is pretty insane but a big thing to keep in mind is that in my opinion this is one of the biggest upgrades going from one console to the other i think back to back the original nintendo ds to the ds Lite, and then the ds Lite to the dsi those are some of the biggest upgrades and changes I've ever seen in my life. And when it comes down to this console, what I will tell you is this started signifying the beginning of just the beautiful consoles that Nintendo eventually started making. I think the DSIs were beautiful, the 3DSs. I think the Wii was a beautiful console. The Switch is so amazing looking in my opinion. And the DS Lite is probably one of the most beautiful consoles and one of the be most beautiful devices I've ever seen in my life. Now, obviously you can't really buy it anymore, but what I will tell you is for a collector's item's sake, this is a beautiful console that's still completely worth it even if you want to play games on this console. I talked about the original Nintendo DS not too long ago and I would not have a good time playing games on that thing, you know? The screens aren't that great, mine kind of has like a gash in the middle of it which is weird. And it just it doesn't seem like a comfortable device. With the Nintendo DS Lite, this console looks so beautiful. It is amazing. And with the original Nintendo DS, surprisingly, there were only two levels of brightness on that console. With the Nintendo DS Lite, there were four levels, the lowest of which was even better. I'm reading this from fandom.com. Shout out to that website. The lowest of which is even better than the standard screen light of the original DS. The microphone was also moved to the middle of this display. And when you look at this console, right? If, if I didn't know about the whole entire gaming industry right now, I would not know this was a 2006 console, you know? When I look at something like a Game Boy Advance or a Game Boy Advance SP, you can tell those things are dated. The Nintendo DS Lite still looks extremely beautiful. Even the original Nintendo DS looks super old. This one looks beautiful, and I am a humongous fan of this console for sure. Now, on the outside, you have this pretty much like clear, you know, reflective coating, which made this console feel so beautiful. You had the, you know, Nintendo DS cartridge up top. You had the Game Boy Advance cartridge at the bottom. You had the power switch on the right side, so they moved it from the inside power button to the side, which made it feel that much better. I It was kind of hit or miss because sometimes you can go ahead and actually like flip it open. You can actually like turn it on via there and I've heard a lot of horror stories of people breaking that specific button but mine still works which is good. Now flipping it open we still have those two displays but these ones were so much better looking than the original Nintendo DS and this is what I mentioned before when you have a console like this you can see just how much you know effort Nintendo put into this console and I really do wish this was the original one. I don't like how they had the original one then they put this one I mean it's kind of weird but this is still a really, really good console for sure. Now, apparently this console weighs much less than the original model. The buttons were changed up a little bit. They were a little bit more clickier compared to the original Nintendo DS. The stylus within this console was actually a little bit longer and thicker, and it was moved to the right side where the original Nintendo DS had it on the back of the console. And this was actually the last Nintendo console that Nintendo made that was backwards compatible with Game Boy Advance games. Since then, with the DSIs and so on and so forth, we didn't get that capability back. But, you know, there were a lot of mods and everything you can kind of change up with, which was actually really interesting, which I'll get into in a second. But on the outside of this console, I am still a humongous fan of it. I think beyond any other gaming console I've had, maybe more recently the Switch, and this is the console where I pretty much had the most amount of, you know, experience with. You know, I spent the most amount of time with, and before I had an iPhone, or phone in general, this was my main device at the time. Now, the gaming library of the Nintendo DS Lite is still extremely strong. When you look at the DS Lite and the DSi, they pretty much shared most of the games. I don't think there were any games that were different between them. So the DS Lite has a massive library of games now. So even if you still wanted to buy this thing and play any game that you want to, you would still have that capability with this console. And that's such a strong area where this console excels at. You can go ahead and get this console and pretty much move on with your life 
because you can just go ahead and buy, you know, a bunch of Nintendo DS games in bulk. You can go to GameStop, which I probably wouldn't recommend. You can go to eBay and just get all these games there. But you can do what I actually ended up doing, which was getting an R4 card, which was basically like a modifiable card. You can go ahead and put ROMs on and everything. And I did that and it was amazing. I could just go and bring all the games that I owned already into one cartridge. And that made it so much easier to kind of swing around. And if I wanted to go somewhere, instead of bringing like all of my 50 Nintendo DS games, I can just store them on my one R4 card and then pretty much move on with my life. Now, I don't know that specific community anymore. I don't know if it's still alive or if people don't really use R4 cards anymore, but that's what I did at that time and it was a lot of fun. On top of that, with certain games like Super Mario 64, the Nintendo DS version, New Super Mario Bros., there was another card, there was another gaming cartridge, if you guys remember, called Action Replay. And what this allowed us to do was to actually like cheat within the game. So we can go ahead and put in all these codes and everything to Action Replay. And that was a crazy, I don't know what it was. It just made me feel like I was so involved in the community. And even now, you know, I get that same feeling whenever like a new jailbreak comes out or a new iOS version comes out even. Anytime something like that happens, I get so excited. And in this specific case, the same thing happened. And I was super excited to see that the DS Lite ended up getting that capability, which was so crazy. Now, beyond that, this console didn't really have too many other, you know, features outside of gaming. It had like Picto Chat. You can do like online gaming as well. But beyond that, there wasn't really too much more. And that's why I think the DSi and DSi Excel were such a big upgrade because it really showcased to you just how important the software was. The DS Lite, there wasn't really too much you could do outside of gaming. With the DSi, I mean, that thing had a camera system system that thing had better software that it had like an actual app store within it that was crazy so there was a lot more going for that console but with this one it's still a very good console for sure. The battery life was pretty good for me. The backwards compatibility with Game Boy Advance games was awesome. The build quality was amazing. And even now in 2022, when I pick up this console, it still feels like a very premium device. It doesn't feel cheap. But even when I think of if this thing came out in this day and age, I wouldn't really feel too freaked out about it. I wouldn't think it's like a horrible feeling device or anything because of just how well Nintendo did at that time. Even now when I feel this thing and I feel my Nintendo Switch, I'm pretty surprised how much overlap there is, you know? Of course the Switch is way more capable and I'd rather have a Nintendo Switch than a Nintendo DS Lite, but it's still very interesting how premium this console feels. I always, you know, kind of thought to myself, man, only if the graphics were better, only if this were better, this and that, you know? I was so jealous of the PSP owners of that time, but overall what I can tell you is this console is in a league of its own. It has a beautiful gaming library. It still feels beautiful feels very premium, and I think in this day and age, the games that came out for the DS are still some of the best games that ever came out. We're talking new Super Mario Bros., the Animal Crossings that came out, all the, you know, the Super Mario 64, a ton of games that came out for this console, and a lot of experimental games too, you know, like the Hollow Spyros and Crash Bandicoots that came out for this thing. I mean, they weren't crazy great on this console, but you can still play them, which was awesome. So overall, what I can tell you is I would recommend buying a DS Lite, even if you still want to play games on it, but especially if you're a collector, this is still an awesome gaming console for sure. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.